After a period of 45 years of authoritarian rule, Bulgaria held its first democratic elections since the fall of the communist regime on October 13, 1991. A year before that, the Grand Constitutional Assembly, elected on June 1990, approved the creation of a new constitution for the young democratic state, as it was agreed upon by the roundtable talks of early 1990. In 1989, when it became clear that the communist world was slowly collapsing, the general mood within the Bulgarian Communist Party was that the communist regime cannot continue existing in its current form, and a series of reforms, much like Gorbachev's perestroika, were needed in order to keep the regime alive. This idea stuck with the ruling class of the Bulgarian Communist Party until the end of the round table talks in May 1990. With a state plenum on of the Bulgarian Communist Party held on November 10, 1989, it was decided that Todor Zhivkov, General Secretary of the Bulgarian Communist Party and de facto ruler of Bulgaria since 1954, would be ousted out of power. Zhivkov was succeeded by Petr Modenov, who on his part tried to keep what was left of the communist regime together, ruling the country for eight months. During his short rule, the Bulgarian Communist Party officially rebranded itself into the Bulgarian Socialist Party, under the careful guidance of Andrei Lukanov and Alexander Lilov who both opposed the Modenov regime and decided to move away from the hardline Stalinism of the Bulgarian Communist Party. With the fall of the Zhivkov regime, a series of anti-communist protests erupted across the country, led by a loose union of anti-authoritarian political movements. These protests were largely led by students and culminated in the occupation of the Sofia University. The protest movement demanded the depolitization of all institutions and new immediate democratic elections. The protest wave managed to push the Bulgarian Communist Party down from its seat of power and force it to discuss its own dissolution with the protesters themselves. A series of agreements, known as the National Roundtable Talks, took part from January until May 1990. Six points were agreed on the Roundtable Talks discussions. The immediate depolitization of the army, police and courts. The dissolution of the sixth wing of the state security agency, which was occupied with the spying of intelligentsia and protesters the dissolution of the State Council and its replacement by the Office of President, the introduction of a multi-party political system, the dissolution of all party wings of the Bulgarian Communist Party within all industries and enterprises, and new and immediate democratic elections for a constitutional assembly. The election for a Grand Constitutional Assembly was held on June 10, 1990, as the 400 elected MPs were tasked with the creation and ratification of a new democratic constitution. This new constitutional assembly was dominated by the newly created Bulgarian Socialist Party, which provoked the newly elected anti-communist forces to call for massive protests across the country once again, which resulted in a tent camp being formed in the capital Sofia, known as the City of Truth. With the Bulgarian Socialist Party holding a slight majority within the constitutional assembly and the democratic forces refusing to cooperate, the process of the creation of the new constitution began. The new constitution was put in power on June 13, 1991, after more than a year of fierce discussions, after which the constitutional assembly was dissolved and the first parliamentary elections of the new Republic of Bulgaria were scheduled for October 13, 1991. Main players on the stage The Bulgarian Socialist Party, together with the Bulgarian Liberal Party and the Fatherland Labour Party, formed the Pre-Electoral Alliance. A left-wing democratic socialist coalition led by, the, by BSP's chairman Andrei Lukanov, the man mainly attributed for the demarxification of the Bulgarian Communist Party, now known as the Bulgarian Socialist Party. On the other side, a loose union between the different protesting sides was formed on December 7, 1989, known as the CDC, or Union of Democratic Forces. During the new constitution talks of 1990-1991, the CDC experienced a series of fragmentations due to the inactivity of the coalition's leadership within the constitution-making process. Later, political parties like the Green Ecoglasnost, the center-left Bulgarian Social Democratic Party, the Agrarian Beznese, the Green Party and several other formations left the coalition. By the time of the elections themselves, the coalition was made out of the Democratic Party, Radical Democratic Party, Alternative Social Liberal Party, New Social Democratic Party, the United Democratic Center and the Democratic Front and many other non-government NGOs and alignments. As a third major player in these elections came the DPS or Movement for Rights and Freedoms, 
a party formed to represent the interests of the Turkish minority in Bulgaria, which numbers up to 10% of the country's population. This though deemed the party unconstitutional as it represented a specific minority or religious group, and so officially the DPS brands itself as a liberal centrist party for all ethnicities. Controversies often follow the DPS, as it was made clear that many of the party's initial founders, counties, counting the party's chairman Ahmed Dogan, were former agents within the Committee of the State Security, the former communist regime's secret service agency, an agency that in the late 80s forced Bulgaria's Turkish and Muslim population to Bulgarize and change its not Bulgarian names to Bulgarian ones, a process known as the revival period. In the agrarian spectrum there existed two parties, BZNSE or Bulgarian Agrarian People's Union United and BZNSE NEPE or Bulgarian Agrarian People's Union Nikola Petkov, two agrarian parties both claiming to represent the legacy of the former BZNSE, which existed from 1899 up to 1945 and played a major role within the period between the two world wars. It was outlawed by the newly formed communist regime in 1945. The two parties will later merge in 1992 and reform the BZNSE. And at last came the parties which disagreed with the general attitude of the CDC and eventually left the coalition. These are Eko Glasnost and BCDP, which formed Electoral Alliance CDCC or Union of Democratic Forces Center, and the Green Party and a small group which split from the Democratic Party, which formed the Electoral Alliance CDCL or Union of Democratic Forces Liberal. Election Day. And so, on the night of October 13th, the results were in. The CDC came first with 34% of the vote and 110 seats. Second came the Pre-Electoral Alliance with 33% of the vote and 106 seats. And third came the DPS with almost 8% of the vote and 26 seats. Thus, BZNSE A and BZNSE NEP came fourth and fifth, respectively, both winning below 4% of the vote and zero seats. CDC C won just above 3% of the vote. while CDCL just below 3% of the vote, with both winning no seats. There was no clear winner in these elections, as neither the CDC or the pre-electoral alliance had enough seats in parliament to form a governing majority, and so time came for coalition talks to be held between the political players. Newly elected president Zhilo Zhilev gave the first government-forming mandate to CDC's Filip Dimitrov, a political activist and former member of the Green Party. Who, after a three-day-long period of talks with the DPS, reached an agreement where the DPS will offer parliamentary support for the CDC, and with 128 votes for and 112 against, the new government was sworn in. The new democratic government was tasked with the finalization of Bulgaria's democratization in its future Euro-Atlantic integration, though it was not written for this government to survive for long.